Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shots. There's a little known mountain region in northern Japan called the Deva Sansan. It's a sacred mountain that has been used as the training ground for the Yamabushi for more than 1000 years. I'm sure you've heard of samurai training or ninja training, right? So Yamabushi training is similar to that, a different kind of training. So this training is for your self-development and self-discovery. So until recently the program was only for Japanese folks but now it's open for you know, anyone who wants to enroll. One of their famous program is called the Lessons from Mountains. The core philosophy of their training is one word. Uki tamo. Pronounced as uki tamo. Uki tamo. The closest translation in English is I accept with an open heart. A typical 3 days training is like this. It's not training, it's an experience. Students will go on a hike with the master through the forest, they climb mountains, cross rivers, sit under waterfalls. So whatever the master asks asks you to do, you have to do that without questioning. The only response from your side will be okay tamo. I accept. So any challenges or any struggle in the journey, your response is okay tamo. Basically the training is to accept the challenges in the journey with courage and surrender. So this experience will make the participants strong and prepare them for their real life journeys. The Yamabushi monks understood that the sooner you accept all the good and bad things life throws at you, the lighter you feel. So by saying okay tamo, you drop expectations and enjoy the experience of the present. <laughs> I decided to give Uki Tamo a try. So last week we were on a journey, a road trip. We were driving 500 plus kilometer. So I told myself, if I face any challenge in this journey, my response will be Uki Tamo. To give examples, you know, long queue in the toll, toll plaza, Uki Tamo. Someone is cutting you on the road, Uki Tamo. Kids are cranky in the car, Uki Tamo. The guy in the restaurant is taking a lot of time to serve food. Uki tamo. Any unpleasant experience? Uki tamo. It was so much fun and peace when you stop fighting with things you can't control. And if you have the option to change the situation, please go ahead and change. But if there is no option, uki tamo. So we have to embrace our realities in life and deal with it. Now it doesn't mean you have to love whatever is happening. It just means you understand and accept that you cannot change everything in life. and your best option at time is to think creatively and solve the problem and move forward so the magic word is uki tamo so during my journey i also had a lot of plus and beautiful experiences for that i used a different word the second magic word is arigato it's also a japanese word so i learned this from ken honda after reading the book happy money So Ken Honda is a Japanese millionaire and best selling author of the book Happy Money the Japanese art of making peace with your money his books have sold more than 8 million copies Ken Honda writes about the positive effect of adopting gratitude for everything in our life including our relationship with money there's this famous technique he talks about in this book it's called the arigato technique arigato is a Japanese term for thank you I have been practicing arigato from the time I read this book especially for money transactions. It's really easy to do. Whenever you receive money, focus on accepting it with love and gratitude. So no matter how big or small the amount is, say arigato in your heart or say loud. And do exactly the same thing when you spent money. When you spent money, spend it with an open heart and gratefulness. Ken Honda says, money appreciates if you appreciate it. So we have to appreciate the outflow and inflow of money in our lives. So whenever I give money, real money or Google Pay uh, to anybody, so it's it's a habit for me now to say arigato and a silent prayer and let the money I give make the person and his family happy. Or if it's some product, you know, thank you for serving me. So I practiced both these words, okay tamo and arigato during my road trip. So you know, I was driving through a beautiful stretch. 
arigato when i was eating something delicious arigato when someone helped us arigato so next time in life when things don't go in the way you want just say okitam and when things go in your way say arigato so you can practice this at your workplace at home anywhere with anybody it's magical so why japanese words why not english words you know sound sound is energy right some words have great power i felt a different frequency and power with this words and english words so just try this words for a day and let me know your experience in the comment thank you so much for watching arigato i am shrit krishna stay happy stay healthy